coming up next. It's a UFC heavyweight division collision. A near perfect combination of boxing ability and technique. Few guys have been able to hold up when it comes to this guy's boxing acumen, and he'll be trying to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And what really has helped him is his ability to defend takedowns. It discourages his opponents from shooting on him. Right. So then they are forced to stand in the boxing range. No one manages distance better. No one understands getting in range and then out of range better than this guy. And the moment you're stuck there, you are a lame duck. He is going to find you. He's a sniper. The jab always lifts the chin. The right hand follows. And if you are able to withstand that, you got to watch for everything coming after it. And I love watching him land that beautiful left body shot as he ends a lot of his combinations. Yeah, and we talk so much about his offense, but his defense as a boxer, right? The head's never oh, on the center line. It's almost like his head's detached from his body. Truly a sight to behold. We'll see if he can put forth another shining performance here tonight. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 219 pounds. Fighting out of Irvine, California, Boom Boom. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, make the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? How good is his right hook count? Oh, big elbow. Oh, huge knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. Back and forth we go. Knee to the body. Strong defense there to block the shot. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, 
straight right. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Nice leg kick. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, eats a knee to the head. Just out of range with that left hook. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Well, nice. Oh, you can hear the whack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Choi. You got to check these low leg kicks. Great punch landing with so much power. Another punch position. And now he's got the tie punch. The Korean Superboy. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. That shot is blocked by Choi. Way to hide that leg kick. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Troy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Checks that leg kick, connects with a right. Well, his opponent found an opening there to the body. Nice hook shot there, but as he leans forward in trying to get into his own striking range, he's gonna pay the price there to the body. Gotta be careful. You don't wanna eat too many of those power hooks downstairs. Ooh, big shot lands. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, collar tie. Right hand punches the clinch. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. And he landed the right hand there. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Short. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Nice head kick. 15 seconds to go. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Right hand counter. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Huge block there. Nice loop of punch. Marty closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. Big knee land. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Slips. Timely defense.
offense there. Huge block for him. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. It's hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strike. Oh, nice elbow. Right hand punch from the clinch. Problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Back and forth we go. Joy gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Knee coming to the body. It's blocked. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Nice combination of strikes there by Choi. All right, single collar tie now. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Beautiful body kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Straight punch lands. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? Oh, nice. Nice. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Nice knee to the midsection there. Single collar tie here. Ooh, what a punch. The Korean Superboy gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Choi. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Let's go. Let's go. Keep that he has a to kick it tonight, and it shows. Single collar tie now. Striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kick and sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Visibly limping here. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. And 
now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws the punch. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, nice knee to the head for him there. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. A single collar tie. Tags him with that uppercut. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center line. He was landing one before, now he's throwing everything in combination and they're all landing. Oh, collar tie. Three, two, three. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. That was a thudding leg kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Real steep body. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. He blocks the shot. Single collar tie now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you, what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you got to be getting out of those positions where he's kneeing you. You got to be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect the body. You got to just really, truly be working the entire time you guys are in close. Oh, he lands that patented knee yet again. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. That knee might have landed there. Oh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard or he's going to fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. That knee might have landed there. Another nice knee there. Solid knees again. Oh, massive knee to the head. Oh, nice high kick. Strong bottom hook here, staying busy. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture. It looks like rain down big strikes at your point. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. Open good. Grant wants to stop this fight, but you're not going to let him. 
Are you ready? You ready? Let's go fight. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, looks like that shot was blocked. The left hook lands on the counter. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Able to check that kick as well. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, that was beautiful with a straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like that, DC. You can't relate. <laughs> Really strong leg kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Throws the right hand there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Punch is wrong. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. There's no tell on that leg kick. He's driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. It's broken, I think. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, single collar tie here. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. And they separate. Oh, big punch lands. Nice, sneaky head kick. Just over two minutes to go. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Big leg kick land. Nice straight punch. Head kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Yeah, left hook found its target. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Single collar tie now. Good stick. Back to the feet now. Sneaky head kick gets in there. Leads with the right punch. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Look at the turnover in that kick. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. Left hand punch with the clinch. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Nice punch, Lance, over the top. Really tight. 
timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Huh. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Unbelievable. He's stuck looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now a knee. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. He's got clip with the right hand. Nice punch lands over the top. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough. Oh, nice strike. Leg kick. Big knee to the body. Choi's got the tie clinch now. Big punch from the clinch. And they separate. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. All right, Bruce Buffer is in there with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, three seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.